Hello everybody and welcome to another money making guide brought to you by X Star Killer X. This time it's other inspectors. Right, the requirements for killing other inspectors are the as follows. You will need a slayer level of 60 plus. You will also need a nose peg or a slayer helm slash full slayer helm or you will take massive damage and your stats will be dropped. So this is a 100% requirement. And um, um, requirement to have the slayer helmet though, you do have to have completed smoking kills. So a nose peg if you haven't completed smoking kills and a slayer helmet if you have completed smoking kills. But right, the recommendations for killing other inspectors are to have a summoning level of 4 to 1 or above. This is to either have the macaw, summoning from familiar to increase your hope drop rate. To have the uh, uh, the warp tortoise to carry more stuff and to also have the terror bird which is going to be the birding. I recommend having combat stars of 60 or above as well just so you've got a you know a decent advantage over killing the aberrant, aberrant spectres. Right today I'm going to show you the inventory and setup for killing aberrant spectres. To start you will need a nose peg or a full slayer helmet or slayer helmet as if you don't have this you will be hit a still amount of damage and your stats will be near enough dropped to zero. <laughs> so you, this is 100% necessary. Um, for cape, uh, uh, skill cape, 99 cape, max cape, uh, fire cape, any cape really. I'm using this because well, it just looks okay. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> uh, for the armor, just uh, the best armor you can have. So I've got full bandas here. For the gloves, uh, the uh, recipe for disaster gloves, the best you possibly can. I'm going to let uh, Fury or Glory, I would highly recommend. Uh, weapons, uh, I always dual wield, so I've got an uh, offhand Dragon Mace and a Dragon Longsword. Which can be replaced with whatever you want, a shield and a sword, or double swords, or whatever you want. The Ring, I would highly recommend using the Ring of Wolf, since this is a money making guide. So, uh, I would highly recommend this, but well, this can be replaced with uh, any other ring really, if you really want to. Because in Victoria, I have a teleport and plenty of uh, food as these do can hit quite a bit. So they are a mage based attack. And if obviously if you are killing these for Slayer, you will also have a Slayer jump in there as well. Now I'm going to show you the action bar setup, which I use personally for this. So I'm going to unlock it so you can see what they are. First, I have backhand, just so I can stun them just for a little while to get an advantage. Then I have a slice, which is my basic attack between um, I was recharging. Then you have Punish, another basic attack to use while recharging. Uh, Havoc, this is dual world only, so this is just personally what I use. Uh, just basically does 100% for both weapon damage, so that's pretty useful. This is a weaker version of Assault, so it's pretty it's pretty good. I recommend this. Sever, this redu reduces the damage that they deal, so I would, I would recommend using this. This is the damage over time ability, so I would highly recommend this as well. This one is also a damage over time ability, so that using those two together is quite a good combination to deal lots of damage. Have this, this is for when you, are, you can attack more than one at once, so that is good to have. Just case, but this again is dual world only. An assault, which is a powerful version of fury, this is what you deal most of your damage with. Then you can have your ultimate ability, which can be this, and a few other selections, depending on what you have. And I also have my uh, food right at the end there just uh, so it's more easy to get to. Right now I'm going to show you how to get there from Canifus. Can you can easily teleport to Canifus using the Canifus Loudstone, uh, a portal in your house or by teleporting to Varak and running east. So running from Canifus Centre you just go down here. I would recommend you also I'm going to go from here is because I'm used to Slayer Tower because this is the most convenient place they are, close to a bank really. Just up here, recharge for your summoning if you need it. Then, if you're on a slayer attack, you need to talk to this bloke as you can gain the that bloke there as you can get uh, extra rewards for getting a special contract as well. So, then we just go up and over to this side, I believe it's over here. Yes, it's over there, over to this side, through this gate here, and there we are, the Aberrant Spectres. So I'm just going to kill a few, just to give you an idea of the sort of drops. 
we lock that up. Yep, they're pretty easy to kill. The weakness is throw, which you really want to didn't say that's quite a good drop. Double run our drop, and then it. Of course, stun them for a little bit, and then. No, oh, must have poor drop that one. Right, um, let's kill one more for you. Here you go, this double combination do that, and then that, or in reverse, and then you can do a lot of damage every time. Or do the no injury normal hits. See, very easy. Anyway. Oh, that's uh, this for this guide. Um, uh, money per hour, I would, I would say it's up to a mil. If you get lucky on drops, you may get to up to two mil, depending. So, yeah, thank you for watching this guide, and I'll see you again in the next guide. Thank you for watching.